In this video, we're giving our small kitchen a little bit of a makeover and a refresh by bringing in some antique pieces and removing some things that have just been bothering me for far too long. Here's a hint at what that's going to be, but there's some really exciting things in this video. I hope that you enjoy. had been dreaming of a new island for the kitchen something that had some deep rich wood tones to kind of break up all of that white so I hopped over to our local antique store and here's some of the things that I saw right away that caught my eye but when I saw this antique wash stand I knew that this was the one I loved the profile of it that it had some storage I loved the size and the shape it just needed a little bit of modification in order to make it work as a kitchen island and I'm going to show you how we did that okay so here's the little antique wash stand that I grabbed from the antique store and I'm gonna modify it so that it looks a little bit more like an island, but we are gonna modify it by adding some wooden legs and some casters onto the bottom. I got four inch wooden legs, and then the caster should raise it up another inch, inch and a half or so, so it should bring it up to about here. Not quite to counter height, but I don't think I want it like right at counter height. I feel like then it'll feel a little more impeding on our space if it's a little taller. So we're gonna do that. Um, hopefully I can attach it quite easily. I actually need to paint the legs. Okay, so here's the legs I got. I actually thought they were going to be raw wood, but they are not. But I do have some flat brown paint that I just purchased the other day. So that should adhere to this pretty well. And hopefully we can blend it in. I might put some gel stain over top of that and make some brush strokes to make it look like wood grain and hopefully they'll blend right in. So I'll show you how I achieve that. But like I said, it's kind of an experiment for me too. So, all right, so here is the brown paint. It's called Library Oak and I got it in a matte finish. So it's almost like working with the chalk paint and see about adding some more stain to give it some dimension. Cause I do have also some gel stains. So we're almost gonna create like our own retique it finish. But I got these because they were the right diameter on the top to match up to the diameter here at the base that we need. And then I got some little wooden casters that are gonna go on the feet. Okay, it's time to put the wheels on. And these are the ones that I got off of Amazon. I'll have these linked below for you, but they're just so pretty. And I think they're really gonna look like they came original onto this cabinet. So we'll get these attached and show you how we do that. And then we're also going to attach a custom brass bar along the back that we can hang towels and stuff from.
So here is the brass, well, I think it's a steel bar, but it's brass plated that we're gonna attempt to turn into a little towel bar to put on the back. So it's gonna go probably from here to here, and then we'll be able to hang towels and stuff on it and just reach for them instead of hanging them from the, um, whatever that is, the oven. <laughs> oven handle. The back's kind of ugly, so this will be a good way to cover it up. I could also hang pots or pans or something from it too. Who knows? We'll see. But I just ordered this, like I said, off of Amazon. We're going to cut it to the right length. I've seen people use these to make cafe rods for curtains and stuff. And then I got these little elbows. And that's what we're going to hopefully attach it to so that we can mount it and it'll kind of stick out a little bit. PZ one project done. decided today is the day we're taking out the microwave. I just don't want this to be a focal point in the kitchen anymore. I feel like removing this is going to make it feel more open in here, which we very badly need. So we're going to take this big gal out, see what we have going on behind here, and then go from there designing something a little bit more attractive with some more character. Just unscrew the top there and there, and then I'll just hold it if you want. This is too big. Huh? I don't think I need it in there.
Or there is no... There's no actual band. Hello. Yeah, it's just the microwave. Yeah. Usually it's like also connected to a phone. Yeah. Moment of pure. Now I do know which one goes on which. Yeah. Oh, the one I wrote back. See, that's why I wrote back on that one. I mean, or it's clearly taller. But yeah. All right. Oh, so close. So close. So close. All right, well, Cameron is back downstairs trying to get this beadboard piece to fit. The problem is, is that this tile was cut uneven, so it's just wonky and just like, um, even though this is new construction, the tile, uh, we're still always gonna probably deal with unevenness in this old house. So I think this is gonna be the last time though, because we are just like millimeters off from it fitting perfectly. The top piece fits perfect, and then we're gonna do the inside with the beadboard and the little trim piece, and then I can caulk it and paint it. And then we'll move on from there and see what details I wanna add. So whether that be some corbels, maybe like a rounded cove type of a feature, I just haven't decided yet what I wanna do as far as if I want to create some type of a custom pot rack to hang pots from, or if I want a little shelf. I'm kind of leaning toward the pots because I think that will kind of disguise the fact that it's gonna be two different mediums, tile to beadboard. And I just like that look. I've got some copper pots that I have been thrifting. So I wanted a special place for them, but so far so good. I'm hoping I can get it caulked and painted tonight and then tomorrow I can uh, play with it. So you might be wondering how we're going to get by without a vent hood, but we actually did not have one before. We just had the microwave that had a filter on it, which really it didn't do much. So we're just going to get by and it's been a few months now since we've done this and everything's been fine. Um, if we really, really make a smoky mess, we can always open a window or something. But we weren't too concerned about that aspect of removing the microwave. But let me explain what I'm doing here. So I wanted to put this piece of trim in order to meet the two edges together, but there was more depth with the tile than there was with the beadboard. So I needed to make up for it by adding this kind of shim piece of wood that was at the correct depth in order to make that piece of trim and the beadboard meet up. So that's all we had to do there. And now the rest is just the finishing work caulking and filling in all the nail holes and lots of coats of paint but this only took a day and a half and I think it was totally worth it and I will show you where we put our microwave in just a bit so stay tuned for that I can smell the shore it's right in front of us if we just hold vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn Ooh, we are dreamers of the shore time to paint um so I'm going to use kilts as my primer and then I just picked this up and I'm gonna use this as the final coat. It says it dries really quick, which I'm happy about. And uh, it's for doors and trim. So I figured that it would have good durability for a spot like that, but I just finished caulking and here is how it's looking. I'm so pleased that this was such a quick and easy project. Now, of course I could add more embellishments to this, 
We could do corbels. Um, we could even add detailing up at the top to make it look kind of arched. But I figure those things can be added after like, you know, I get the foundation down, which is what we needed to do here. So we'll just get it painted and then maybe I can play with some decor and then get a better idea for what I wanna do as far as future detailing to this little nook here. Like I could add something up at the top here. I could even do some corbels I thought would look nice coming down either side of the cabinets there and that would kind of cap off this edge here. So we have some options that we can kind of keep adding to it. I really do think I want to get a brass bar so I can hang my coppers, copper collection here. And I think that'll look really pretty. Or I could even put a platter like that one. I could stick that up in the center there or a piece of artwork. So I have options now and that's what I'm all about. I love having options with my home decor. So let's get it painted and then see if we can put some decor up and show you guys what it looks like. So instead of purchasing a new rod for the pot rack, I thought I would just repurpose this one that I already had. And this is from Ikea. It's a great little piece for any kitchen, very inexpensive. And I just have had this up the whole time with command strips. I use those things for everything. I feel like they should sponsor me. I use them so much, but I do love them. They work great, but it ended up fitting perfectly within my little nook here. And I think it's going to work out perfect. So let's get this installed. And I'm so excited to get it all styled and to have this beautiful space above my stove that I actually enjoy looking at now. It takes the focal point of the kitchen to a place where I want it to be. It's not a big microwave that's just dark and that was just way too beefy for this small little kitchen. So if this is something you've been thinking about doing, I say do it. We hardly use our microwave. We still have a little one. I'll show you, like I said, here real soon where we put that. But I just loved this little DIY. I hope you did too. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. these corbels and I thought that would be a cute feature to kind of finish off the edge of that little trim piece there but I don't really want to commit to these and I also don't want to put any holes in the tile so I'm going to use my trusty old velcro command strips to secure them and that should be plenty to keep them on there for the time being um, until I change my mind so that's what we're gonna do stick really good. <laughs> the only thing is you can see it so I need to take the command strips off the top and just put them on the bottom. Oh they're already stuck good. Okay. Much better. Mm -hmm. 